Hey guys, Wayne here from HT Tech Videos. Today I'm bringing another tips and tricks video on the LG Stylo 3 Plus. We've got five more for you. And uh, you know, we just wanna keep showing you guys more things you can do with this phone. So the first one we're gonna jump into is a, a quick feature with the camera, which is uh, simply how to switch from selfie to you know taking a regular picture without having to hit the button. Simply just swiping up will automatically switch from the front camera to the rear. Hey, what's up? How's it going? Swipe back, and there we go. So that's a really simple one, guys, but I know a lot of people don't know about that one. And, you know, when you're holding your phone with one hand, it just it's a lot easier just being able to swipe up to switch it versus having to reach for that button that's all the way up there at the top. All right, so our next tip is going to be how to take a picture with your voice. So we're already in the camera app. Now, go to your settings, and you want to swipe all the way down to cheese shutter, and, and make sure this is turned on, okay? As far as I know, out of the box, this doesn't come turned on. So make sure this is turned on, and then we'll go back. And now, we can say cheese. We can say smile, whiskey, kimchi, or LG. LG. So those are the five different commands you can use to take a picture with your voice. So again, you, you found that perfect angle to take your picture and you're trying to reach for the button. No need to reach. Just say, hey, kimchi. And you got your picture. All right. So that is our second tip. Our third one, this was a request we got from our comments section. Um, a really important one um, for people that are new to Stylo 3 Plus is how to do split screen, how to run two apps at one time. So to do this, um, let's say, let's start with our messages. Let's say you're typing a text message and you know you want to have another app open at the same time. For example, YouTube, a lot of people will be watching a YouTube video while you're texting someone. To do this, so you're gonna open the first app and then we'll um, tap on our, run, our running apps or recent apps, okay? And then you want to look for this icon right here, these two bars. And this is what tells you that the app is compatible with split screen. So if you notice, all apps are not compatible. So the camera I can't run in split screen, but messages I can, and the Play Store I can. So I'm going to tap on the two bars. And now it's going to prompt multi-window. I'm going to hit next. This is just for the first time. And now I can look through all the apps I currently have open and pick from one of those. So it'll show you again. If you see the two bars, you know it's compatible. Um, but what if you don't see the app here that you want? You can just, let's see. Let's see. Let me close all of these. So here's what you have to do. So different phones do it different. Uh, some phones will show you all the apps that you can run in this section. This one doesn't do it. So let's say you know you want to do messages and you also want to be on YouTube. So I'm going to go to my app drawer. And if you don't have the app drawer, we have another video that shows you how to get the app drawer back. So if you just check our uh, YouTube site, you'll see it on there. Um, so I'm going to go to YouTube, open it up. And since I already had this app open in the first place, it was ready. I just had to tap another app that was compatible with split screen. And now I've got messages on top, YouTube at the bottom. I can actually have a YouTube video playing while I'm texting someone. Introducing the okay. new Moto Z with Moto Mods. Hello, Moto. See that? Now... Maybe you say, hey, I want to get that video on the top because it just makes more sense for me to text at the bottom. No problem. Tap the center. Let's see. You know what? This one doesn't give us the option either. Okay, so what you'll have to do is hit your back button. And that will take you out of split screen. And so all that means is you have to open the apps in a specific order to make sure the one you want is at the top. So in this case, I would open um, YouTube first. So open YouTube. And then I would tap recent apps. 
and now I have messages here. So um, tap the double bars on YouTube first, okay, and then tap messages. And now I have YouTube on top, messages on the bottom. I can have this video playing. And I can be down here texting someone or whatever. Okay. You can also turn it sideways and it will rotate. If I tap the video and I hit this, now I've got my video on full screen. And I can still text on this side. So, kind of cool. Um, so that's sort of a little quick rundown of how split screen works. I'll do a separate video to go into in more detail for those that want more information on it, or I'll try to do a separate one. Uh, should be able to. Um, all right. And now we still have the double bars down here. So we need to tap this and we need to basically, um, hit our back or close, close. And if we just pull this all the way down, yeah, now we're out of split screen mode. So a little tricky. Hope you guys follow that. Just open the apps, open the open the apps in order. So tap one, close it, tap the second one, close it, and then running apps. And then you can just tap the one you want to be at the top. You tap the bars first, and then you tap the second video, uh, the second app, and then they'll both open the split screen. Hope you followed that. If you have questions, leave in the comments. And again, I'll be more thorough in a separate video. All right, our next tip is going to be how to customize your notification panel. These uh, apps that we see up here when we swipe down, maybe you say, I don't like the ones that are up there. There's other ones that I wish were up there. Well, you can change that order doing this. Tap here, tap edit. And now I can drag them and change the order. I personally like to have the flashlight first. So if I'm ever walking into my house and it's dark, I know I can swipe down. And I know my camera, or excuse me, my flashlight will be the first option in the corner. Uh, Capture Plus I don't use too often, so I probably would move that one away. And remember the first five that you have are going to be the ones that show up whenever you swipe. So swipe down. Now I have my camera, Wi-Fi, sound, Bluetooth, and auto rotate. So pretty cool. Just an easy way to, again, adjust, um, you know, which ones come first and just, you know, customize it so that it's better for you. All right. And our final tip um, is going to be when your phone is off, if you want to launch your camera, all you have to do is, is uh, double tap the volume down button like this. And it will automatically turn on the screen and launch the camera for you. So you can take a quick picture, especially if you have a, a password on your phone or, you know, obviously you have your fingerprint, but this is just the fastest way to launch the camera when your screen is off, just volume down. Now this only works when the screen is off. So if the screen is on and you try to double tap, it's just gonna change the volume. So it's only when phone is off, double tap, automatically will launch the camera for you. All right, hope you guys found this helpful. Um, always go through this phone to find as many things as I can to show you guys. Hopefully you guys learned some new things. I know some of you guys are experts, so a lot of this isn't new information, but hopefully some of you guys out there learn some new cool stuff that are gonna help you enjoy your phone even more. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you like, favorite, and share the video if it was helpful, and make sure you also subscribe to HG Tech videos. Have a good one.